Okay, so from the Wuchi position, we're going to go into our Yiji Kim Yong Na, which is the um, translated the number two, squeezing or clenching the lamb. Okay, so it sounds funny, but what it is is the number two in Chinese, which is um, basically like this. Okay, so your feet are doing that, if you look this way, and you're imagining that you're actually squeezing a sheep between your legs, so the pressure and the uh, intention is to have. Uh, is to um, tighten your muscles and engage your muscles on the inside of your leg. Okay, so um, that's the explanation. So let's show you how to do it. So from your wushu position, we're going to drop even more and bring our fist to our chest. All right, so starting here, we're going to drop about an inch more. Okay, and then you want to bring your fist to your chest. Now, when you bring your fist to your chest, try to Get your fist to be flush against the front of your chest. Okay, you don't want to be out here. You're gonna try to pull back, pretty much close to the front, uh, the front of your chest, and make them flush. Okay, your elbows, you want to pull them down and back. Okay, make sure you don't pull it up like that. That will just cause way too much tension in your uh, shoulders, and it's really bad posture. So you want to pull your uh, elbows down and back, and try to lengthen. The muscles here while wow, you're still keeping the wuji position with your neck and your head okay so once again from the side we're going to drop about another inch all right pull that fist up and keeping the rest of the structure from the wuji remembering that you want to pull uh, tuck in your chin and your nose towards the back of your head and suspend from uh, suspend from the ceiling okay when you form fists, just so you know, is that you're going to close the fingers, the four fingers, and then tuck in your thumb behind the first index finger. Okay, so like this, close your four fingers, then tuck your thumb underneath your uh, your index finger. Okay, so that's how you do it. So drop, and then like this. Okay, next we're going to open our feet stance. So we're going to pivot our heels and open up our toes 45 degrees. Next, we're going to pivot on the top balls of our feet and open our heels about 30 degrees. Okay, so remember from here, open toes 45 degrees and then open the heels about 30 degrees. I say 30 degrees because 45 degrees is, is too much. Okay, that puts too much stress on your ankles. And if it's less than that, let's say it's like this, then it might be too little and you don't get the, um, the engagement of the muscles on the inside of the legs. So what I like to do is about 30 degrees, now you get to engage these muscles inside your legs, on the inside of your legs, and your ankles are not in a bad position. Okay? So I encourage you to experiment to see what position is most comfortable for you. Okay? But definitely, you don't want to have them point straight forward or outward, definitely want outwards like this. Okay, so they definitely have to be pointing inwards. Okay, so from here, we're going to set our um, center line. We're going to do a double cross block downwards. Okay, if you're wondering how the hands should be, so your hands should be like this, fingers together, and your thumb should be tucked. Never have your thumbs out like this. Um, it's dangerous when you do a palm strike, and let's say you miss, you can easily break your thumb. So we're going to tuck in our thumbs like that. Okay, cross block like this. Uh, your wrist should be um, overlapping like that. Okay, and you want to, from here, you want to flip it up to here. Okay, and that means that your uh, fingers are around your nose level. Okay, so from here, your arm should be slightly bent, not completely extended like this. So slightly bent, and then flip it up. From the side, if you look at it, um, you want to have a distance of about a fist or a fist and a half between the elbow and the body. And then when you flip it up, that's what it looks like. Okay, that should be height. Okay, so from here we're going to pull it back to our body. So if you look from the front again, from here, down, up, and back to our chest. Okay, so why do we do this? This sets the center line of our fighting box.
Okay, so if I do this, the wrist is moving up and down the center line of the upper body. And your hands and your fingertips are outlining the outer edge of the box. So just imagine there's a box. This will help you to visualize how big the box is. Okay, so from here, I'm going to pull it back. 